everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out and please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Not only are you showing that you appreciate what I am doing and I thank you all so much, but as a bonus, I will be giving away $20 to random subscriber who comments when I reach 200 subscribers. Okay. I've got plenty of views and plenty of hours, but I'm lacking in subscribers. So if you could do that for me, I appreciate it. And like I said, one random subscriber will get $20. I'd like to get this done by the summer. Because after the summer, who knows when I'm going to have time when I go back to work. Okay, so... Um, unfortunately, my wife couldn't cook anything today because our refrigerator still is not working, so we just had to eat leftovers. So I thought of what I'm going to do, and then I said, well, it's hot. Let me talk about ube ice cream. I'm sure people don't even know what it is. Okay, so if you could see on the board, this is what ube ice cream looks like. It's purple. Okay, so... The prep time is 10 minutes and the cook time is 10 minutes. So most of the time just takes the freezer. Ube, pronounced ube, is a purple yam from the Philippines with a mild sweet flavor. The taste has been described as slightly nutty or as a cross between vanilla and pistachio. It is frequently incorporated into desserts in Filipino cuisine with ube ice cream being one of the most popular preparations. I like to have the ube ice cream on top of the halo halo. Um, I will include in the link um, some other desserts. Okay. Purple yams and taro look similar from the outside, so they can be they can certainly be confused. However, when the skin is peeled back, the difference in color is clear. Taro root grows from the taro plant, and unlike purple yams, they are not a species of yam. Purple yams are nutritious root vegetables filled with antioxidants. It may help reduce your blood pressure and blood sugar levels. The vibrant purple yam is typically boiled and mashed before being incorporated into jams, puddings, sweetbreads, and other desserts. If you can't find fresh ube in your local grocery store, it is also available grated and frozen, dried into a powder form, or as an ube extract. So, you can use real ube. I suggest that you go to a store and you can probably find ube powder, like maybe a Chinese supermarket or something like that. It's not expensive. Ube has been incorporated into everything from brownies, macaroons, cupcakes, and donuts, to waffles and pancakes, even lattes and milkshakes. The eye-catching purple is natural, which can be seen as soon as you slice into one of the raw yams. Depending on the brand of powdered ube and ube extract used in this recipe, the color of the ice cream may vary slightly. If desired, you can augment the color with purple or violet food coloring. I would not put violet food coloring or purple coloring in there because it's artificial. But you could do that. So the ingredients. Notice, you only need two tablespoons of ube powder. So it's not like you need a lot of ube. One cup of water, one and a half cup of whole milk, one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, three cups heavy cream, one and a half tablespoons ube extract and if you want to add coloring you can add coloring okay. so steps to make it place the bowl of an ice cream maker in the freezer overnight gather the ingredients powdered ube needs to be rehydrated before use in recipes in a medium saucepan combine the powdered ube and water heat to a simmer and stone to make sure it becomes thick almost like uh, making jello. Remove from the heat and cool completely before using incorporating the ice cream. Okay. In a medium mixing bowl, whisk together the milk and granulated sugar until the sugar is dissolved. Okay. Stir in heavy cream and ube extract. Okay. Like I said, I wouldn't use the food coloring. Mix in the cool rehydrated ube and stir until completely combined. Churn according to manufacturer's direction about 25 minutes. The ice cream will have a soft, creamy texture. If a firmer consistency is desired, transfer the ice cream to an airtight container and place in the freezer for about two hours. When ready to enjoy the ice cream, just scoop and serve. 
So, um, I, I will include the recipe in the description so you can see uh, how to make it. I mean, you could just read this uh, for the directions, but I will include the recipe just, you know, just in case, um, you know, in case the video goes too quick and you cannot see it. Okay. <clears throat> Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. There's no better feeling for a YouTuber than to know that someone likes what you're doing and someone is willing to make that commitment to be a subscriber. You know, it's like a family. You know, the more people you have in your family, the better. That's what subscribers are. They're like family. You know, they don't just watch my video and then you'll move on. They watch my videos, they comment on my videos, you know, they like my videos, they give me feedback on my videos, and, you know, it, it really feels good. And feeling, you know, speaking of feeling good, I will feel really good if I can get up to 200 subscribers by the end of the summer. So it's about a month and a half away. Okay. Like I said, uh... I will be giving away $20 to a random subscriber who comments when I reach 200 subscribers as a sort of thank you, basically. So, you know, I got like 165 already, so I only need about 35 more subscribers by the end of the summer. And I'm sure we can get it done. Okay. Uh, I thank you. I will see you tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a, like a special video about maybe... Uh, what special day it is tomorrow or something like that. I always try to do a little special videos on Friday. Uh, stay safe. Stay out of this heat. I know it's going to be really hot. And please, you know, <laughs> go out and try making the Ube ice cream yourself. Um, I'm going to try making it myself when my wife can pick up some um, either Ube powder or actual purple yams. I'm going to definitely try to make it myself. I thank you and I will see you tomorrow.